What is up guys? Welcome back for a live in the OU tier. Yes, that's right. I said OU tier. Uh, I came up with this team idea, the one that you see on your screen, uh, because I was playing in RU and a Selgor uh, really called out to me and I really wanted to try it out in OU with Final Gambit. And then I was like, it would be really fun to just spam Final Gambit. So I got a few mods together uh, that were really good with Final Gambit, like uh, Staraptor, Victini, and Selgor. And I tried out the team and it didn't work. Uh, but what I discovered was not only Volcarona, but also other offensive fire types are really good in this tier. Uh, the page just shifted down. I don't know if you guys saw that, but anyway, uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, offensive fire types are really, really good uh, in this metagame right now because the things you have running around the most are uh, steel types and uh, things like uh, bug types and uh, just this, this really annoying... Um, core of mons in OU that's destroyed by offensive fire types. Volcarona was the first discovered, and now I'm bringing to light Victini because Scarf Victini is actually a threat, guys, in this metagame. A huge, huge threat. They create U-turn, Bolt Strike, and I packed on Glaciate. Uh, I made it hasty because I wanted something to hit Lando and Garchomp on the switch, if that's my opponent's offensive, uh, defensive mons, excuse me. With Victini, I paired defensive Landorus, standard. Uh, I added a little bit of speed because I was noticing that speed ties with Landos uh, was happening a lot and Hidden Power Ice and stuff. Uh, so I added just a little bit of speed, just four speed EVs, uh, just to make sure that I could hit Lando before it could hit me. Uh, I did the same thing with Tapu Fini. I took away from its defense a little bit, and I made sure that it had 223 speed uh, so that I could outspeed once again Defensive Lando, the standard set that's on Smogon, so that I could catch some people off guard. Paired that up with an Assault Vest Magirna. This thing is insane. It takes hits on the special side from, like, anything. Absolutely anything. Uh, and this coverage is amazing. Floor Cannon, Flash Cannon, Volt Switch, and Aura Sphere. Basically, the idea of this team is to get Volt Turning Momentum into Victini. And Magirna just keeps getting status, it keeps getting hacked, but I'm confident that during this live, uh, we should have a good go with this thing. Uh, and then finally, we have Mega Venusaur, standard set, uh, really good at eating hits. I wanted a lot of checks to uh, to Greninja because that thing is a huge threat in OU right now, so I brought these three. Uh, should be able to handle it with the combination. Uh, and then Z, Z Salamence is just a ridiculous sweeper. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't actually gotten to bring it out too much because Victini just does the job on its own. Banded, uh, not banded, but Scarf V Create, just like spamming this move is ridiculous against my opponents. So let's uh, let's hop in the, into the live. If you guys enjoy the team, make sure to check out the description. I'll leave a paste bin to it. Uh, but as you can see, my opponent uh, does not have great answers for a Scarf Victini. The only really good answer on his team is Garchomp, and Garchomp gets obliterated by Glaciate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lead off Victini. He's going to lead off with Azelf. That's absolutely fine. Uh, I'm just going to U-turn, turn one, because I'm, I'm com pretty confident this, this thing is, uh, is Explosion. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to uh, head out into Magirna, which should be able to take any hit from this, including a Flamethrower. He's going to get up his rocks. I have no problem with that. Uh, his immunity to uh, ele Electric is Garchomp, and Garchomp doesn't want to uh, switch in on Magirna ever. So I'm just going to go for a Volt Switch. He's going to go for the Taunt. That is fine. I'm not going to knock out this Azelf, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, but I am just going to go back into Victini at this point. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm expecting his Garchomp to be offensive because his Azelf is his rocker. So I'm just going to throw out a another U-turn uh, and knock out this Azelf, which is perfectly fine with me. I just have to get rid of these rocks at some point. It's going to be a little bit difficult because he's got a dual electric core. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go out into... I think Mega Venusaur, uh, just because it's the uh, only thing that baits in the Metagross, uh, realistically. He actually chooses to go into Thunderous. Interesting, he must be HP flying then. Uh, I don't really want to stay in here. I'm going to go into Magirna. It's pretty safe. And uh, I'm not going to go for the Volt Switch this time. I'm going to go for the Floor Cannon because it'll do a lot of damage. He actually goes for a Z move, which is Supersonic Sky Strike. Uh, I'm able to eat that up, which is fine. Uh, so he must be fly in that case. Uh, I'm just going to throw out a Floor Cannon at this point. He's, uh, he's physical, okay. Uh, we're going to knock out this Thunderous with a Floor Cannon, so that's nice. Uh, my ch One of my checks to his, uh, his Tapu Koko uh, is getting weakened quite quickly. Hopefully he's not physical Tapu Koko as well with Brave Bird. That would really suck. Uh, but it's looking more and more like Scarf Victini can just destroy his team. Uh, Greninja comes in. A little bit of a threat. Don't really want to deal with it right now. 
Uh, but I do want to get rid of these rocks, and I think going into Finny here uh, would be the perfect time to get rid of these rocks, as he is going to go for the Water Shuriken. That is fine. I'm going to be able to eat that up, and uh, my opponent's actually going to forfeit. I just clicked skip turn. Uh, you guys see these two on the field at the same time, but... Uh, yeah, I guess he just wasn't having any of it. Uh, let's move on. I'm not too high on the ladder because, like I said, I was trying out a team. Didn't really work out. Was getting quite a few losses, so I, I dropped down a little bit. And I haven't played OU in a long time, so uh, quite a bit of decay. But uh, I know the tier, more or less. Uh, yet another team that gets obliterated by Victini. Like, look at this. Where are his switch-ins to a Scarfed V-Create? I don't see any. <laughs> not one. Not a single one. Uh, I gotta watch out for Muck because it can Pursue Trap me, so I'm gonna have to be extremely careful about that. I'm probably gonna have to go for a U-turn uh, a couple of times uh, to condition him to think that I'm gonna go for U-turn. Uh, but I think here... I think my appropriate lead is probably Magirna because I can switch into his Excadrill. He leads off with Coco, that's perfect. I'm just going to go straight for the Aura Sphere, expecting his Excadrill to want to come in after his Volt Switch. Uh, I can eat up his Volt Switch, no problem, if he has that. If he has a U-turn, then that's cool too. Uh, if he goes into Muck, that's fine. Nothing really threatens me, that's the thing. That's the thing about Magirna uh, with an Assault Vest, is that the only real thing that threatens me right here is his Excadrill. He has to go into it, because nothing else is going to touch me. He's going to U-turn right here. I'm pretty confident that he will go Drill. Uh, he might also go into Skarmory just as a, a precautionary measure, in case... Uh, I do have the Aura Sphere, and I'm catching the Excadrill. He does go into Skarmory, very good play. Uh, however, that's going to take 55, and that was an absurd amount. Um, I'm not going to outspeed this. I, I have a feeling it's... No, nah, it's definitely not offensive. It's probably just fully physically defensive. That's why Aura Sphere did that much. Uh, I'm still max special attack, actually. I just noticed. I just copy-pasted the set from Smogon, but... Uh, what I'm going to do here is just Volt Switch as he's going to now go out into his Coco in Electric Terrain. This is going to do a decent amount of damage. And uh, now what I can do is I can go into my Victini and fire off a Banded V... Uh, not a Banded... I keep saying Banded, but it's not Banded. It's Scarf V Create. Uh, it's going to do a lot to something. However, I do not want his Muck coming in after and Pursuit Trapping me. That is the only issue. Uh, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to pull up a Calic. I haven't done one of these in a long time. Uh, yeah, I haven't uploaded a live in, in a while, guys, and I do apologize for that. Uh, it's just uh, the conditions haven't been there, but... Uh, let's see, Alolan Muck versus Victini. I want to see how much this actually does. Uh, let's see, Double Scarf Vicri does 75 to 88. Wow. Okay, so it's the, I knew I knew it wasn't a switch in, but I didn't think it would do that much damage. Um, I'm just gonna go for a U-turn here, as he's actually gonna keep in his Coco, which is fine. I can just go into Magirna here. Uh, I feel like he might T-Bolt, not sure. He is gonna go for the Volt Switch this time. That's actually gonna do quite a bit of damage, more than I expected. Uh, but it's not an issue. Again, his team cannot deal with this very well. He does go into Excadrill, but that's fine. I have Landorus as a switch in. He has to pull some crazy doubles, turn after turn, to be able to, uh, to be able to do anything to me. Uh, if he goes into Skarm here, it's a good play. Uh, he does go into Skarmory, very good. As I'm going to go out into my Lando, great play on my opponent's part. However, I can just go for Stealth Rocks here. Having Stealth Rocks up on my opponent's side is going to be really good for me. Uh, because it's going to mean that Muck will not be able to switch into Victini ever. So, that's really nice. Um, and I think I'm just going to go into Magirna here. Uh, because I don't want to take an attack. Or I can just HP Ice. No, I'm going to go into Magirna. Seeing how much the Aura Sphere did, I can pretty much safely fire one off. No matter what. Uh, as he is going to set up spikes, okay? Uh, I am just going to go for the Aura Sphere here. Let's see what he does. He is faster than me, so if he roosts, he's going to take um, super effective damage from Aura Sphere. So that's really nice. Uh, he might just get up another spike. Uh, there are multiple targets for me to be able to get off a of Defog with Tapu Fini. Uh, Alolan Muk, Alakazam if I haven't taken any prior damage, and Excadrill as well. Same issue if I haven't taken any prior damage. But I am just going to go for the Aura Sphere here. Uh, if he goes into his Coco, that's a good play. Um, but I should be able to pull this one out. I mean, uh, realistically, Salamence sweeps as soon as this Skarmory takes a tremendous amount. Like, as soon as I get it to about 40, uh, I'm pretty much good to sweep. And uh, his only fairy is Tapu Coco, which can't take any Q. So, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty good. Uh, he's actually going to go for the Iron Head as I go for the Aura Sphere. And uh, I'm just going to go for another Aura Sphere. Uh, I really don't care. Uh, as long as his Skarmory stays low, that's good with me. He's going to set up another layer of Spike, not doing any more damage to my Magirna, which is amazing. Uh, he can go into his Excadrill, but he can no longer double into anything really that threatening. Uh, except for maybe Coco, if it, has, if it has HP Ice. That's my only real concern. 
Uh, also, uh, Finny is faster than defensive Mega Venusaur, which is the most common set, of course. It's very rare that you see offensive. Extremely rare, even. And um, I can get off a of Defog against that, so I'm not too concerned about these spikes. He is going to go into his Venusaur directly. Uh, I am Assault Vest, so I don't know if he knows this, but I'm pretty sure that Mega Venusaur cannot take out my Magearna. Magearna. Uh, Assault Vest with an HP fire does absolutely nothing, so I'm just gonna fire off a flash cannon right here, as he's gonna go for a leech seed, and he's gonna take a lot of damage from this attack. Uh, and I think I'm just gonna go for a, another flash cannon, potentially. Um, keeping his Venusaur extremely low. He is faster than me, which is normal, uh, actually, so that's, that's not a big issue. Um, I could go directly into Finny, knowing that he's not gonna go for anything offensive, like a Sludge Bomb or a Giga Drain right here and then just get rid of these hazards. Uh, I would want to get them back up because of the Coco, and it is a huge threat. Uh, Tapu Finny is not doing too much for me this game, so I think I am going to go directly into it. Hopefully he doesn't see that coming. And uh, let's see what he does. He goes for a Synthesis. Okay, so he's Leech Seed Synthesis. Uh, I am going to get off the Defog right here. He's going to do a lot of damage to me, uh, but I'm not too concerned. He definitely, he most definitely has Sludge Bomb. Uh, what I'm going to do after I defog is taunt because I don't want him going for a leech seed for free. I could alternatively go into Venusaur, but if he sludge bombs again, I'd rather this thing be taunted. So let's get off this defog, get rid of all these hazards, which is Skarmory setup. He is going to go for the leech seed actually, which is fine with me um, because can this thing even touch my Salamence? Like, <clears throat> I, I understand it can sludge bomb it, but um, I think... Mm, I think my Venusaur wins that war. And the only thing he has to touch Venu is uh, Alakazam, which gets outsped by Victini. If he doesn't predict it on the switch, I'm good to go. So I'm going to go hard into my own Venusaur, as he's going to go for another Leech Seed. I'm not going to allow him to do that. And uh, we are going to go for a... I'm pretty safe just to go for a Sludge Bomb here. He's already wasted a Synthesis, so I'm in the lead. Technically, he's gonna go out into muck. This is great. Actually. This is awesome uh, because his muck is gonna take a little bit of damage uh, I am going to weaken this thing to the point where Victini uh, does kill. So let's check that again. Alolan muck um, Takes how much from Victini uh, If I'm scarfed 75 so I need to get it down to 75 essentially uh, I could just go into Lando here pretty risk-free I do need Lando for his Excadrill though or else that thing sweeps through me. I can't risk that um, Salamence is looking more and more like a win condition. That's the thing, his Excadrill, if it is Scarfed, it can never lock itself in an Earthquake or else Salamence sets up and wins. Uh, unless his Zam is Sash, which it is actually. His Zam is Sash, because uh, he has Mega Venusaur. So, uh, I'm just going to go for an HP Fire right here. As he's actually going to double back into his own Venusaur, which is fine with me. That's going to take a little bit of damage. And uh, I'm just going to go for another Sludge Bomb. I have no reason not to. If he brings in his Zam, the Sash is broken. If he brings in his Muck... Uh, that's fine. He's going to take 29% there. He's going to go for Hidden Power Fire. It's going to do just as much as mine. Uh, revealing that he uh, doesn't have, what, Giga Drain? So if he doesn't have Giga Drain, um, am I pretty safe to go into Lando here? I think I am. Yeah, I'm going to go into Lando and get up my rocks now. I think that's quite important. Uh, so he's going to go for a Synthesis. We are going to get up our Stealth Rocks again. He can go for a, uh, a Leech Seed or a Sludge Bomb. Uh, I'm not concerned either way, uh, because he cannot hit me too hard. Sludge Bomb is going to do something like 20. Even if he poisons me, this is still a decent check to his Excadrill, regardless, because I do have the Intimidate. And, uh, yeah, we're, we're looking pretty good. He's going to go for Leech Seed. It's only going to take off a very minimal amount from me. And we are going to go for the U-Turn right here. And, uh, I'm considering going into Salamence right here to scare him out. And then just going for a, uh, just picking up a Knockout, honestly, at that point. Uh, because his muck now comes in really low. It well, not really low, but really close to Victini range. So it's not like it can safely pursue trap me anymore. Uh, it comes in at uh, 89. So, no, 79. So really, like, it's within the roll. I just have to get the roll. Um, I think I'm going into Venusaur here just to play it safe. I don't want to just straight go into uh, Salamence, even though that would have been a good play right there, as you can see. I still have not wasted a Synthesis, so I do not have a problem going for a Sludge Bomb right here, as he is going to fire off another HP Fire. Um, he's not hitting me with Sludge Bomb, which is the stronger move, so he might not have that either, now that I'm thinking about it. 
Uh, and I am just going to keep repeatedly going for Sludge Bomb Force into Synthesis, which is fine. Uh, and I am going to go for my own Synth right here. Because let's see what he does. He does go for another HP Fire. That is fine. Uh, we're just going to keep nailing this thing with Sludge Bombs, honestly. It's a Mega Venusaur War right now, but he can't switch anything in. Uh, if he switches in his Excadrill, that is pretty much free HP Fire for me. So, um, And I get off damage on this thing which pretty much ensures me the game. He's going to get off a, nice, a, a, a little bit of damage with that. Very, very little. I'm just going to go for a Synth right here. He's going to go for another Earthquake. Uh, and he's just inviting in Salamence at this point because I'm pretty confident that this is Scarfed. Uh, I'm just going to go into Lando because I do get my leftovers. As you guys can tell, I'm not Rocky Helmet. Uh, he's actually going to pull a, a nice switch out into his Tapu Koko right there. Uh, I really like that. And uh, I think I'm just going to go into... Is this thing life orb? No, we haven't seen an item, but it keeps switching in on rocks. That's why I really needed rocks up with specifically for this. Uh, we are going to go into Venusaur here. Be able to eat up any hits. He's going to go for an HP Ice. That's not going to do anything. Uh, and we will go for a Synthesis right here. He can go for a Volt Switch, but that's fine. He is going to forfeit. That's going to be the game. Moving on into game three. How, many, how much time are we at? 15, 16 minutes? Yeah, 16 minutes. And... Uh, it's looking good. I like this team. Uh, so far, I really, really like it. Uh, I only had about two or three test games before starting to record, so... Oh, God. Okay, this is going to be an issue. This is actually going to be an issue. Um, actually, I have an Assault Vest Magirna, so it's not too bad. Uh, and Venusaur does take on the Ludicolo as well. So, Venusaur actually puts in a tremendous amount of work in this game. It just beats everything. Um, yeah. Yeah, why does it actually beat everything? Uh, okay, so I'm gonna lead off here with uh, Victini actually because what I can do is if he decides to stay in with his Politoed, uh, I will get off a Bolt Strike. So he actually chooses to lead off with Gigalith, which is not bad. He's just going for his Rocks turn one, I guess. Uh, I'm just gonna go for a U-turn. That is safe. We get a crit. Not that it really matters. We will go into our own Lando. And uh, I am just going to go for the Stealth Rocks afterwards. He is going to go for his own Rocks. That is fine with me. Uh, his form of Hazard Removal is non-existent on his team. So this is a pretty safe Stealth Rock for me. As he is going to go for Stone Edge. That's not going to do that much damage. Again, guys, remember that I'm not too high up on the ladder right now. I'm in, like, I think the late 1400s. So I really need to get some points back. But uh, I am just going to go for the safe Earthquake here. There's nothing that really wants to take it on his team. He's going to allow his Gigalith to take a hit. And uh, he's weakening my Lando, but I don't need Landorus for anything. Everything on his team kills Landorus. So I don't understand what he's doing. He's just letting his Gigalith die, so that's fine. Uh, I will preserve this as Sack Fodder. He's going to go into his uh, Politoed. Uh, again, I just want damage off on this, and I don't need Lando for anything. So I'm just going to stay in. He's going to go for Scald. That's fine with me. Uh, I'm just going to go into Venusaur here and fire off a Giga Drain. I mean, it does a lot of damage to anything but Ludicolo. So, uh, also, I'm, I might be faster than his Politoed. It depends uh, on how much speed he's running. Politoed uh, typically hits 176 if it's uninvested. So, this is going to be a dead Toad. And uh, this is looking pretty good because I do have that Assault Vest Magirna in the back. He's going to go into his Greninja. I'm not too concerned. Again, uh, I can just go for... Honestly, I kind of want to... I'm afraid... I don't know what I'm afraid of, honestly. Like, why would I switch out here? Why don't I just go for Giga Drain? I mean, I guess I could play it safe and just go Finny. Uh, let's see what he does. He goes for the Dark Pulse. Okay, so that was a good play. Uh, he's going to take a Life Orb. So I'm kind of scared of this thing being um, being Gunk Shot, but he's Battle Bond. So, I mean, either way. Yeah, I'm just going for Moonblast. He's going to go out into his Ludicolo again. I did say before. That uh, we actually get a crit on that. That's uh, that's quite unfortunate for my opponent. But uh, I did say before that Venu pretty much takes this on, even in the rain. So I'm not concerned at all. Wait, what? <laughs> he went for Swords Dance. <laughs> Guys, he went for Swords Dance. I'm scared. Help. Uh, I'm going for Sludge Bomb. He's going to go for Ice Punch. It's not going to do that much at all. Luckily, he does not freeze us, and we are able to knock out the Ludicolo. Uh, in comes Kingdra. This is the thing that I was kind of worried about, but his rain's going to expire very soon. So Salamence can come in after and just start outraging everything. Um, I'm just going to switch out into my Finny, realistically, uh, because I still have the Magirna to take on the, uh, the Greninja. He's actually going to miss his Hydro Pump, kind of unfortunate. I can just freely go for Moonblast, though. He's going to bring in his Seismitoad, however, his Seismitoad, unless it has Rain Dance, will not outspeed me at any point. Uh, just in case it is Rain Dance, I am going to go for Taunt, uh, as he's going to go for a Sludge Wave, and he's actually still faster than me, which is fine. 
Um, but now I can just go for another Moonblast. He's going to go for an Earth Power to try to catch a Switch. It really doesn't matter. Uh, I guess predicting my Switch into Magearna, but I was never going to bring that in, in the first place. Um, I can just go into Salamence here. Earthquake should kill, in theory. Uh, he might not want to keep this in. But Sludge Wave, Earth Power... Uh, does Venu die? Venu doesn't die, right? Well, I mean, it's Life Orb. I'm not taking a chance. I'm just going to go into Mence. I'm going to force him out. Uh, and I'm just going to go for the Earthquake right here, I think. Um, yeah, Earthquake is fine. Because it'll put him in Life Orb range anyway. I'll be able to win with Magirna, so this is fine. Uh, yeah, it does take him out. I, w I was worried about that not knocking him out for some reason, but I'm just going to go into Magirna here as he's going to go for the Ice Beam. Yep, and no freeze, please. Thank you. Magirna doesn't get hacked. He's going to go for the Hydro Pump, but we are Assault Vest, and we will be able to knock out the Greninja with an Aura Sphere. And then all I need to do is just go for a uh, safe Volt Switch, I think. Uh, no, Floor Cannon's fine, uh, because even if he knocked me out for whatever reason, he is Life Orb. He's not even... Uh, He's not even um, specs, but even if he knocked me out for whatever reason, I could just go into Mence after and knock him out. Unless he was Scarf, then it was a problem, but Scarf, Kingdra doesn't beat Venusaur any day, unless it crits me. But no, even then it doesn't kill me, so uh, yeah, that's uh, that's game three. I think we have time for one more. Let's, let's do one more. It's been a while, so we'll try to get four wins on an episode. Team's very nice. Uh, I really, really like it, guys. If you want to use it, I encourage you to. Uh, again, I'll leave a paste bin in the description down below, but this guy has a real team. <laughs> this guy has a very, very scary team um, without a Swords Dance Ludicolo on it. So, uh, Lando, while it is an option as a lead, he has a lot of great counter leads to it, like his Greninja, his Thunderous, uh, his special attackers, basically. I can't see him leading off with his own Landorus. Uh, but at the same time, I do have switch-ins to all of his special attackers. So I am just going to lead off with Lando. I think it's fine. He's going to lead off with Greninja again. It's fine. I do have Finny for this thing. And uh, I do not want to allow Volcarona to set up a, um, a Quiver. That could be very, very problematic. Uh, however, I do have Victini, which can destroy it with a V-Create. He is going to go into Thunderous. <clears throat> We did see that special Thunderous before, uh, that physical Thunderous. I'm going to go hard into Magirna. Uh, I think that's my play. As we are Assault Vest, as he's going to go for Thunderbolt, uh, not taking into consideration that I do have a Venusaur. Uh, he might be HP flying, though, so going to have to watch out for that. Uh, I think just going for Volt Switch here is safe, as he's going to go out into his Metagross. That is perfect, and uh, this is uh, this is my, my champ right here, Victini, coming in for free, basically. Uh, this one time I'm going to go for U-turn expecting his Landorus to come in because I do want to scout what kind of Landorus it is. Uh, it does seem to be Rocky Helmet indeed. And uh, we will go out into our own Landorus and uh, pretty much outspeed this thing every single turn, which is nice. Uh, I will get up my Stealth Rocks. Uh, actually, I'm going to go for HP Ice first. As he's actually going to switch out into his Volcarona. Interesting. Um, I feel the Inferno Overdrive coming. So I want to go into uh, hard into Victini or hard into Finny potentially. Um, and Landorus is still very, very good this game. I need Finny for the uh, Greninja, so that's not a good sack. Um, what don't I need? Do I need Venusaur? <laughs> Realistically, I kind of do. Um, it doesn't beat the uh, Metagross, but if his Thunderous is not HP flying, which I feel like it's not, uh, then it beats the Thunderous and it beats the uh, the Tangrowth, as well as partially beating the uh, Greninja and the uh, Landorus if it's not set up. So I think I will switch it hard into Victini on this thing, uh, as he does go for the Inferno Overdrive. And uh, we're going to take a, a good chunk from this, but not enough uh, to where I'm extremely terrified. Uh, and now, now I'm just going to go for V-Create. I know he has the Lando as the switch-in, guys, but uh, I do just want to damage it. And I'm still outside of rock range as well, so keep that in mind. And this Lando is not a huge threat, not as big as his Volcarona. I couldn't risk that thing setting up because I had no switch-ins after. So, I mean, Salamence kind of, but uh, if I get burned for whatever reason, then that's really, really bad. Uh, I do have to watch out for his Thunderous' T-Wave as well. That's going to be something to keep in mind. Um, I'm going to go hard, uh, Finny, I feel like, just so I can get rid of the rocks, I think. Um, I could have glaciated, would have been such a good play, uh, but no, anyway, um, I'm gonna go into, uh, top of Finny here, because I expect the rocks, as he is going to, uh, go for a U-turn, actually. Uh, if he goes into Thunderous again, I'm just going to go, uh, go into Venusaur, and I'm going to, uh, synth up, maybe not, because I don't want to invite in, uh, Volcarona for free, so... 
Might just go for the sludge bomb. Not sure yet. We'll see. Uh, this is a tough matchup. This is a very tough matchup for me. Uh, I just have to uh, make sure that I keep rocks off the field, essentially, uh, so that Victini can do work. Uh, Victini can already knock out Landorus with a Glaciate, and I haven't revealed it yet. So uh, the next time that Victini comes in and it's threatening a kill, I probably will click Glaciate. Um, also, don't forget that Glaciate's secondary effect is that it also lowers your... Uh, the target speed, so that's very, very useful. He's going to go into uh, Tangrowth here. I'm um, not exactly sure why I have a Venusaur, uh, which can take it on relatively well. So I am just going to make that play into Venusaur. Uh, if he doubles into Volcarona, then very good. Yep, he does. Okay, that's scary. Um, that is terrifying, actually. <laughs> All right, we got to go uh, hard into Salamence. I'm not risking anything. I'm not risking this thing setting up. Uh, I know what it can do if it sets up, so it can obliterate my team. So I'm just going to go hard into Mence. He's going to go for the Fiery Dance. Uh, he's going to get off a little bit of damage, and he's going to get a special attack raise. However, he cannot stay in here. Uh, he is immediately threatened by my Salamence. So if he stays in here, that's a very, very bad play uh, because I can instantly knock this thing out. And while, yes, he did get special attack raise, there's no move that he can fire off here that would instantly knock me out. Uh, on top of that, he's holding the Z-Crystal. He already went for the Inferno Overdrive. Uh, luckily, he didn't get a kill. But um, if he has Inferno Overdrive, that's pretty much indicating to me that he does not have Hidden Power Ice. So Salamence is a pretty good switch into this pretty much every time. Uh, knowing that, I do have to keep my Salamence healthy. I, feel, I really feel like he's going to go into Lando here. Uh, so I'm going to... His hazard removal is non-existent. You're bringing a Volcarona with a without hazard removal. That's really, really dangerous. Um, I am going to double into Lando here. And while, yes, it's a risky play, he can't stay in. There's no way he can stay in. So he's going to double out into his own Lando, which is fantastic. Uh, I am going to go for the Stealth Rocks right here. I'm tired of them not being up. He's going to go for his own. That's fine. Uh, I could very easily just uh, go for a Hidden Power Ice here. His only switch into Landorus, per se, is Tangrowth, so it's pretty safe. Uh, we are, of course, faster than standard Landorus, so we are going to get that knockout. Uh, if he goes into Volcarona, I'm clicking Earthquake. I'm not letting it set up, ever. And he goes into Metagross, so that's pretty much telegraphing Ice Punch to me, uh, which I can't do much about, realistically. I could go into Finny, but no. Um, <laughs> just no. <clears throat> Alright, so what we're going to do, we're going to go into Magirna. Magirna doesn't serve a huge purpose anymore. I need to keep health on Finny. I already set it for the Greninja. So I'm going to go into Finny, uh, into um, Magirna here to eat up a potential Ice Punch coming my way, as he is going to go for the Ice Punch. And then what I'm going to do is I really don't want to risk him going for another Ice Punch right here on my Landorus switch. Um... Actually, I don't know. Hold on. Because I feel like Landorus has already done its job. Then again, it can come in on an, uh, on a, a uh, Metagross after. This is tough because now I have my rocks up. I should have just HP iced. I thought he would go into Volcarona. That's why I didn't do it. But yeah, uh, I do have to get rid of these rocks at some point because Salamence is no longer a check to his Volcarona. I have to figure out the string of plays that's going to allow me to do this. He might also not have Earthquake. So, I, may, I might be just overthinking this. I'm going to go for Volt Switch. He's going to go for another Ice Punch, so it's a good thing I didn't go straight into uh, Landorus. And we're actually going to get a crit on the Metagross. Ouch. Uh, that actually really sucks for my opponent because now he's in a terrible position. He is in, like, the worst of positions uh, because of that. Because he would have still had his Metagross around. Uh, I'm not going to show any sympathy, though. And I will just go into... Uh, I will just go into what... I want to keep his Volcarona out somehow. I think I do that by going into Lando. I'll let it take the rock damage because I'm going to get my leftovers anyway on this turn. Uh, so I'll still be at 94, so this is fine. Uh, and this pretty much baits in his Greninja, which is what I was trying to do. And now I can just go into Finny. And while, yes, he does have the option of uh, U-turning right here into his, uh, into his Thunderous. Again, Finny's getting leftovers as well. And I can just go out into my Magirna, sack it to the Thunderous, and then go into uh, Venusaur and HP Flying won't knock me out. He actually misses his Hydro Pump. Uh, kind of crucial right there. But uh, I'm pretty free to just go for a Moon Blast right here. Uh, we'll also reveal the damage on the Tangrowth, which I'm about... Excuse me. Which I'm about to calc right now. Uh, Assault Vest versus Tapu Fini. 
Uh, Tapu, Finny. Uh, defensive Moonblast does 17 to 21 to AV, so let's see. That is definitely AV. That's awesome. That's great to know. Uh, which means that Venusaur comes in on this for free. Rocks are up, so it's not like he can freely double into his Volcarona anymore. Uh, plus, it doesn't seem to have any form of recovery, so uh, I'm pretty free to just go for a switch out into Venusaur now. Uh, nothing really threatens it anymore, so this is fine. He is going to pull out the double into his Volcarona. Uh, however, I can now go for a Sludge Bomb. Plus one Fiery Dance will not knock me out. Plus one Bug Buzz will not knock me out. Volcarona... I'll show you guys. Uh, sweeper with... Uh, let's change this to Fiery Dance. Uh, fiery Dance. Okay, well, Fire Blast, base 90, I guess. Because I think it's base 90. Uh, and let's see. Bug Buzz. It's the same, basically. Uh, I think Fire Dance is a little bit stronger. But anyway, Venusaur. <laughs> Mega Venusaur. Uh, defensive. Uh, it actually takes quite a bit from both of them. But... Uh, I'm just gonna go for a sludge bomb. If he sits up, then he won't to he won't uh, oko me from here. So I am just gonna go for the sludge bomb. I'm not gonna get the poison, obviously, because we are in misty terrain. Uh, if he actually has roost, uh, that's a problem. But he is gonna go for the fire dance. He's not gonna get the crit. Uh, he's gonna get the special attack raise, but it's not gonna matter because we are gonna knock out the Volcarona. Uh, I can bring in my Venusaur later on his tank growth and just go for a synthesis. So uh, this is fine. He is gonna go into his Greninja. Uh, what I'm going to do here is just go back into Finny. I have no reason not to. Uh, my biggest check to his Thunderous is weakened, however, which is a little bit concerning, uh, as he is going to go for the U-turn. However, I still have the Scarfictini, so keep that in mind. He is going to go into Thunderous. He has no reason not to fire off a Thunderbolt right here. So, uh, I mean, I'm probably just going to stay in and Moonblast. Uh, I am going to go down to that, but uh, I should be okay. I should be okay. If I go into Venusaur here, and hold on, let me think this through. If I go into Venusaur here, he can't knock me out, right? Thunderous, Thunderous, uh, Showdown Usage, Life Orb versus Venusaur. Uh, HP Ice does a max of 22. Uh, I'll be coming in at 23, or yeah, 23. And, yeah, he can't knock me out with that. So, unless he has, like, Psychic or something. <laughs> I'm not sure what, but something. I uh, should be fine to live it. Uh, but I think I just go Victini here. Honestly, because he can't switch anything in. I'll get rid of the, th the Thunderous, essentially. And he can't lock himself into a water move with uh, Greninja, or else I'll knock him out with Salamence. Yeah, I think that's fine. I think going Victini is fine right here uh, because if he goes into Tangrowth and sacks it then okay what I'm thinking actually is Thunderous Therian uh, Thunderous Incarnate we're already on it I just want to see Victini uh, the damage from Hasty uh, Glaciate Glaciate does 37 to 44 so it's not enough to knock him out that's annoying um, Magirna should be able to take a Specs Dark Pulse from Greninja, right? Greninja. I just want to see Ash Specs versus Magirna. Magirna. Assault Vest. Dark Pulse does 21 max. We're sitting at... Tw yeah, we're, we're above it. Okay, I'm going to go Venusaur. Uh, I think it's the, the correct play. And we will go for the Synthesis right here. Uh, if he fails to knock us out, then we will get back up to full. And we should be fine. So, uh, unless he has HP flying, in which case he can't touch, um, uh, th not, uh, uh, Landorus, Landorus, excuse me. He goes for Hidden Power, it is Ice, we do live on two, uh, we will go for the Synthesis, and I am going to go for another Synth right here. He has to play off of Paras, he can even go for a Thunder Wave here, which I think is his appropriate play, is to go for Thunder Wave. Uh, as no, he just goes for another HP Ice, playing off a of crit. Maybe he doesn't have Thunder Wave. Uh, that's that is a possibility. I will just repeatedly synthesis right here. I will beat the, the uh, Tangrowth one v one, and uh, I'll also beat the Greninja as long as he doesn't flinch me all the way down. Uh, but even if he does, like I said, Magirna can come in and revenge it. So uh, I am just gonna go for repeated synthesis. He is gonna go for Thunder Wave. Good play. So he finally reveals it. Uh, and I'm gonna go for the Sludge Bomb here, I think, is the correct play. Yeah, Sludge Bomb's the play. 
as uh, he wait why is he freaking he just said uh, fuck in the in the chat I'm not sure why taunt the entire time and didn't use it oh my god he has taunt <laughs> oh my god no that sucks that actually sucks uh, I get fully paralyzed I feel like he'll go for taunt here um I think either way synth okay yeah he does have taunt okay so he wasn't lying so th synthesis is off limits I don't want to lose this I don't want to lose this but I can't do anything about it I think huh this is tough uh, I've been <laughs> oh my god <laughs> <laughs> Wait till you guys see his comment come up, uh, but I'm gonna go for the Giga Drain right here uh, He has to pray for another para full para uh, as he doesn't get it I am gonna knock out the thunderous with a Giga Drain and now it comes down to uh, Can the taunt wear off in time? Even if he goes Greninja like I said, I do have the AV Magirna in the back So Greninja is not a huge problem if it locks itself into a, uh, a Dark move right here, which I'm expecting it to I'm gonna go for the Giga Drain. He's gonna go for the flinch uh, does he get it? No, he does not. We are able to knock out the Greninja, and that is going to be a good game. Uh, that was kind of scary there at the end, uh, because I did get fully parried. But I'm just going to go for a Sludge Bomb here. It should be fine. GG. <laughs> HH. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, so you guys see uh, what he said. Uh, that's a little bit of a longer live than I expected, but uh, this Tangrowth is going to go down to a couple of Sludge Bombs. We are even going to get the Poison, and uh, that is going to be GG. My opponent's going to forfeit, so a little bit of a tougher game. I really had to play around the Volcarona quite a bit. That that thing is a huge threat. Like I said, guys, offensive fire types right now in OU. Bring your Entei's, bring your Infernapes, uh, bring them all. Like, all of the offensive fire types right now are so, so good. And Victini is even better because it's able, like, kind of like Volcarona, it's able to hit the only things that switch into it, uh, being like the quad weak to ices like Landorus and um, and Garchomp with Glaciate. And it can also hit uh, things like Tapu Fini on the switch with uh, Bolt Strike, which we didn't get to see this game because it didn't come into, uh, into play. But it's definitely a very, very solid Mon right now. I encourage you try it out on different teams if you want to, or with this team. Like I said, I'll be leaving a link to the uh, the team in the description, so make sure to check that out. Uh, if you guys are excited to for the uh, return of lives, because I am getting back into uh, the swing of things a little bit, and I'm enjoying OU uh, right now. If I can keep constructing decent teams like this one, I did pull a lot of uh, standard sets off of uh, the showdown page, uh, but uh, I mean the Victini is my own creation. I did I did adjust some of the sets like Lando, like I said, so. Um, I'm really getting back into the feel of things. So if you guys are excited for that, excited to see more lives, definitely leave uh, a like down below for me. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. If this is your first time on, on the channel, welcome. And uh, I will catch you guys later. Ciao.